Good morning, this is Dawn here for Life Daily with Dawn, and today we're taking a look at one of the 24 life systems or solar systems to come to life and live in full expression. Specifically, we're looking at the interior design map system to connect to your essential self, which is one of eight seeds systems, again, to connect to your essential self and the light that you are within. So specifically today, we're going to be looking at the eight momentum action pathways that form a kind of multidimensional map in terms of connecting to your essential self by um, looking at this area of interior design in a new way. I love the C symbol for this one, by the way. It's a groovy little chair I wanted in my house. So, and it really um, actually always connects me to, wow, that is kind of what I would love my, the sanctuary of my soul to feel like, to look like. So today's pathways are intended to brighten up the lighted room within and design a sanctuary for your soul. There are, as I mentioned, eight momentum action pathways. So let me share those with you one by one. The first is to decorate your inner life with crisp thinking. Create a go-to map of choice thoughts that are life-affirming and soul-nourishing, and then choose the thoughts that illuminate your interior life. So this is really all about intentionality. It's about choosing what it is we choose to think rather than just kind of like letting any uh, old thought live and, and make a home within us. Because when that starts perhaps in the mind, but it, it, it see, works its way into the heart and the soul, and it can over time corrupt um, and, and uh, infiltrate the beauty of your soul. And so this is about decorating your life with crisp thoughts, choosing the best thoughts. Number two, momentum action pathway, is to choose the most luxurious of soft emotions. So create a go-to map of desired emotions that are life-affirming and soul-nourishing. Consciously, how can you consciously, intentionally, every day, choose those emotions that offer you comfort and joy and that remind you that you're deserving of a safe and nurturing environment for soul growth and expansion for radiant expansion from within. So again, this idea of choice in terms of which emotions you are choosing to allow to thrive in your experience. This is all about being responsible for the environment of our inner life. And, you know, there was a time when I didn't know that I had that choice. Um, and I was just kind of so... Um, set on a particular trajectory or way of understanding the world and myself that I didn't even feel I had a choice. And so it, it just changes everything. Um, so this is about choosing. So we've got number one, the crisp thinking. Uh, second momentum action pathway is luxurious emotions. The third, I love this one, shed a little light. Bring new experiences to your soul. Seek your inner life, remembering more and more that this is what feels good and is most true to who you are. Begin with light as the foundational design element in your inner space. Oh, I was thinking about a later one, which we're gonna to get to in a sec. So this is about shedding light on your interior world. So bringing in light, enlightening experiences because you are meant to be in the light. Um, to live in the light. So seek out the light within you and, and remember what it is and feel it. But also, um, so that's begin with light as the foundational element of your inner space. And that light is you. Um, and it's also possible to bring in the experiences that re reconnect you to that light. So shed a little light. The fourth is to clean out the dusty corners. So visit the sanctuary of your soul often and notice where the internal cobwebs and piles of dust and debris have gathered. Then take the time to clear energy blocks and release less desirable emotions, um, thoughts, and then gently free um, anything that's lodged there. For example, unforgiveness um, or pellets of anger or, you know, sometimes they, those can be a pile of little rocks that turn into a big boulder and solidify over time. So it takes some time to do this, but if you intentionally every day clean out a little bit more of the dusty corner or what's, you know, been lodged there and, and invite uh, spirit to assist you in that process, then you begin to create a much more spacious experience of who you are. And then that cannot be taken from you. 
So clean out the dusty corners and, um, you know, to do that, you got to visit, intentionally visit the sanctuary of your soul. You have to enter into that experience of life within you. Uh, number five, here's what I was thinking about. Um, the fifth momentum action pathway is to set the mood, get a little ambiance, create an atmosphere of joy and curiosity rather than one of somberness and austerity. So when you enter the, the temple of you within, the temple of uh, where there is um, a celebration of life and who you are and who you are as connected to all of life and to um, to divinity and to the flow of life in and through you set a little set the mood you know so get a little ambiance and create this atmosphere that is inviting that is one you want to go into because I think that's what's happened for many of us is you know there over time it can be so cluttered you just like stop going in within because you begin to see yourself in this negative uh, light and you don't understand that you yourself are a play of light and that everything um, you 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 don't need to separate out and say this oh this was not me this was me it's all you and it's all one play of light that's beautiful and interwoven and you can choose the best of what you want to keep in terms of the crisp thinking and the soft emotions and and the light and and to focus on the light and to clean out the dusty corners and set the mood so you choose what kind of uh, atmosphere you create inside of you and so let it be one of lightness and joy and wonder and curiosity set the mood number six momentum action pathway create an inviting and welcoming atmosphere and so in addition to what you do to set the mood um, you want to also consider how you could further enhance the experience of connecting to your still center. So you might begin your time of reconnection with a, a prayer that you particularly love, a reading, or just a few moments of connecting in nature, a tone, a, you know, a, a um, Tibetan singing bowl, or a even just a, a um, oh, what do you call those things outside the, the, the chimes? <laughs> <laughs> even a chime or something very simple um, that you could do to open up the energy as you enter into that inner space. So create something that's inviting and welcoming to you, for you. You could also use your imagination to just imagine a place. I used to do this for years. Um, and, you know, my greatest teacher in, in this life um, taught me that I could envision a place that was safe and beautiful and sacred. Um, and for me, that was a waterfall. Um, and I for, I still do it to this day. I just kind of imagine that and I step into um, the center of that. Initially, my, my uh, memoir, which is called Journey to Sacred Wholeness, was called Waterfall Rain. And I would envision myself in this waterfall rain, actually would envision at that time all of the pieces of me because there was no, I had no one self. And so I would envision all the pieces of me standing beneath this waterfall rain and it's beautiful, the colors of life. And I was immersed in it and there I could possibly imagine that we were at least all in the same place, that I was somehow not fragmented in, you know, a hundred or, or six pieces. And so... Um, so whatever that looks like for you. So for me, it was a beautiful waterfall that I remembered actually that wasn't of this world and then also the waterfalls that I had been to in this world. So that's one idea of how you can um, create an inviting and, and welcoming atmosphere if you're not sure how to do that. Um, so imagery, sound, uh, all the senses essentially. You can create your own um, unique experience and then it's just for you. It's just for you. The seventh momentum action pathway is to fill your heart with delicious experiences. So align your everyday life with the desires of your soul. And as you do that, you're going to invite more and more um, uh, um, texture and richness to your experiences in life that you can then choose to bring those into in your, your inner world and savor them further and celebrate the whole of who you are um, as you are living in full expression every moment of every day. And so bring these experiences um, into your heart and soul, but, but do it with care and with in, um, intention. The eighth momentum action pathway is to invite the prophets of old and modern day pioneers. Share your inner space with the great souls who are waiting right now to get to know you better and embrace a whole new way of seeing yourself um, in the world around you as you enjoy this reunion with kindred spirits. So the prophets of old, 
um, modern day pioneers, people that you admire. Um, I would be selective about this and I have a whole, um, a whole body of work around your calling out um, uh, your spiritual counsel or your life counsel that I haven't shared in a while, but um, when I do look for that on the Life Path in the Life Path Online Learning Center because that will help you to uh, create a system for doing this that will um, support you in your full thriving. So let me review the interior design map system and the eight momentum action pathways are one, decorate your inner life with crisp thinking. Two, choose the most luxurious of soft emotions. Three, shed a little light. Four, clean out the dusty corners. Five, set the mood. Six, create an inviting and welcoming atmosphere. Seven, fill your heart with delicious experiences. And eight, invite the prophets of old and modern day pioneers. So have this reunion with kindred spirits on the way. So that was the interior design map to connect to your essential self and the light you are at your core through these momentum action pathways to brighten up the lighted room within and design a sanctuary for your soul. So have fun uh, designing your um, your soul sanctuary and um, really exploring the inner world through this interior design map system. I will see you tomorrow. Thanks.